So for those of us who have been living under a rock for the past few weeks, and that's actually pretty possible as Sea of Thieves has essentially been as dead as a doornail in Season 9 where content is concerned, well, apart from HEAD INTO THE PIRATE EMPORIUM TODAY! A new mystery has been in the midst, unlocking quests within the game to discover who is leading us on this treasure hunt. Hey you beautiful buccaneers, Falcor here. So this strange fella only known to us as H has yet to reveal his true identity. But we know one thing as the mystery hunt has been going on and the clues have slowly been revealed. He doesn't like the gold hoarders very much. In fact, he downright just wants to see them perish. Apart from some page art seen in a mystery website where we can only see him from the back and a more revealing look at him from the Xbox homepage, and of course this image I prepared for a thumbnail, we know absolutely nothing about him. There is only one thing we can make a connection with, and that's that he might be working with the Dark Brethren. I say this because his outfit is very similar to the now two Masked Strangers, and in the reveal for the mystery where his very G-Man-esque voice can be heard, the music Music playing in the background is a much more somber version of the Dark Brethren theme tune. Plus couple that with the first clue code which was Outcast, and given that the Dark Brethren are a band of outcasts and call themselves this, it does shift us all to believe that he could be working with them, but that's yet to be seen. There's also a chance he could actually be G-Man and Rare teasing the release of Half-Life 3. Tall Tales but there is much speculation as to who this H could actually be. And the first and foremost suggestion I see a lot in the community is the H standing for Hook. Now, although, as much as I know Hook coming to the game would be somewhat odd, I do think if done right, it could actually be quite an awesome tie-in with the only pirate some of us knew whilst growing up, and it certainly would be an awesome way to reveal him. However, I very much doubt it would be him. The developers are definitely playing on that speculation though, they know what they're doing, but I think whoever this is, is someone central to the game's lore, not a third-party crossover, or as some might see it, a silly pun. Couple that with the fact that you can quite plainly see that H has two hands, and that kind of puts a proverbial nail in that coffin. I also went on my own deep dive of possible crossover references from other pirate franchises, Monkey Island. Since the characters to Monkey Island are in fact canon to the game world now, thanks to the easter egg within the Pirate's Life Tall Tale 1, you could assume that more characters could pop up from this franchise, such as the very prevalent character known as Herman Toothrot, who gave Guybrush Threepwood a golden key to unlock a chest with multiple locks. But no. A very cool theory, but as I stated before, this H, I believe, is a central lore character to the game, and not someone from another franchise. I have also noticed a lot of people speculate that this could in fact be the Gold Hoarder, or his former name, Rathbone. Even I made that suggestion in a video not so long ago. But now, as the mystery goes on, it's pretty obvious that it is not him. Given that he hates the Gold Hoarders and wants to kill the Gold Hoarder himself, it makes little sense. But then again, so does the Siren Queen coming back to life, so what can I say? So the real question on all of our minds is, who is H most likely to be? The answer, I believe, is not as extravagant as some might think, for there is a gold hoarder within the lore that has yet to make an appearance, as far as we know, within the game itself. This gold hoarder is known as Hogarth. Humphrey, the self-appointed leader of the Gold Hoarders, excluding the Gold Hoarder himself, started life as any pirate. But when he came to the seas, he discovered the Gold Hoarders. And curious as to how they amassed the strange keys that opened all the chests in the land, and of course the promise of the riches that lied within, he made friends with a Gold Hoarder who took him on as an assistant. Over time, this Gold Hoarder entrusted him and took him to Tribute Peak, aka the Shores of Gold, to receive a ritual that would make him a fully-fledged member of the trading company. A ritual not many Gold Hoarders have had the honor of witnessing, an audience 
with a gold hoarder himself. Once Humphrey became a gold hoarder, he did his job as best as he could, but his memories were still of home. The percentage of gold that he was allowed to take from himself from opening the chests, he decided to deduct some of this and send them to his wife. However, his superior found out about this and was furious with Humphrey. No gold must leave the Sea of Thieves, and to do so was an insult to the company itself. Hogarth fled, never to be seen again, in the fear that he too would be in trouble if the word got out. Humphrey, on the other hand, made amends with the company by admitting to the Gold Hoarder himself of what he had done. He sent the Gold Hoarder his one and only true treasure, his wedding ring, and in the process disbanded his wife and his life outside of the duties as a Gold Hoarder. However, Hogarth was never heard of again. Within the Legend of the Sunken Kingdom, a quest that can be received from Lorena by completing all of the Sunken Kingdom commendations, and also results in the player receiving the Coral Curse, where Humphrey is searching for coins to open a forbidden chest, he refers to someone known as the Scholar, who knows where these coins reside. The same coins, might I add, that have been extensively used within these mysteries, and can also be found washed up on the tides ever since this H turned up. The Scholar told Humphrey everything he knew, and in the process fell victim to the Sunken Curse, which starts with bioluminescent skin, cold to the touch, and was locked away in this very room where the curse was found on the remains of an ancient warrior who fought back the sirens. As the original trailer states, an unjust punishment, cold to the touch, kept still for years. Was the scholar Hogarth? Is H. Hogarth, forced to reveal the forbidden chest by his own assistant, Humphrey, locked still for decades within a stone cell where the curse ate away at him? And if that's not enough evidence for you, take a look at the gold curse markings on Hogarth. Does that look somewhat similar to you?